Hello again YouTube, this is Wake Angel 2001 If you just watched my review on the Sonic and Parallel Universe villain set, then you know how I gave that one low points for screwing up the Eggman repaint so badly. Uh, will the Knuckles and Crab Meat set fare any better or worse? Uh, we're gonna find out. First, take a quick look at the back of the box, showing a crab meat and knuckles charging. Funnily enough, the way his arm is pulled back like that, it kind of looks a little bit like they were, they had intended this to be the um, knuckles getting ready to punch figure that was released with the Bebot. But, um, you know, they already released that figure with Bebot. I'm glad they, they actually released a different knuckles figure. And um, knuckles is actually the one that went up to the meteor in the spaceship uh, in the spacesuit, so he's probably even more appropriate to be in the spacesuit than Sonic is. That being said, let's get him out of the packaging and review the figures proper. Outside of the box, we have a very nice echidna wearing a spacesuit and a crab meat. Um, of course, it's not the um, original crab meat that we would have seen in the original Sonic game, which I'm sure a lot of people probably would want to see a toy of. And I think there was a collectible minifigure made of him in like the 90s, but good luck finding that. Um, I actually I actually knew a guy that actually was lucky enough to have those old things, but they're precious and irreplaceable and I couldn't convince him to trade them, so whatever. Um, so like, uh, funnily enough, Crabbot actually has some articulation. Actually, let's get, let's, uh, let's actually talk about Crabbot because Crabbot's really cool. Uh, like I said, he has articulation. Um, he has swivel joints at the shoulders for these front two claws, so they can go down. You can have him, you can have him looking up because of that. Uh, you can, you can have him brace himself with one while he waves the other, which is all well and good. And um, you can have him raise both slightly into the air, but then that the figure is a little bit front heavy, so so his uh, crab legs aren't really going to touch the ground very well. So like. You can give him a natural crab posture with the two claws in front of him and all of his legs behind him. And um, there you go. It's actually a, it's actually kind of a big Badnik figure. It's significantly larger than most other Badnik toys. Um, actually, I brought... Um, look, after all these weeks of being on display, this is what's become of the display stand that came with Bebot. Told you, they should have made this out of a stiffer plastic. Um, but yeah, he's significantly bigger than Bebot, and, um, actually as far as Badniks go, like, uh, let, let me get some other Badniks, just so we can have some context here. Okay, so, yeah, a bit of context, let's compare the Jazzwares Badniks, just, just so we can see what we're going with here. Um, inevitably, you're going to want to compare it to, an, to Motobug, since that's another OG. Um, actually, given the size of their faces next to each other, they look pretty happily in scale next to each other. It's just that, um, you know, Crabbot, Crab Meat is physically a bigger guy because of the splayed out legs. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, the the uh, Caterkiller, or like the trapdoor version of it from Colors, um, like this thing should be way bigger if that's the size of a Crab Meat. Uh, then you have the Spinner, again, looking quite undersized when you compare it to this thing. Um, I think maybe the GUN Beetlebots might be almost the proper size when you compare them to what are, everything else. Then we got probably the, the best, the, be, the ones that did the best job of scaling, um, relatively speaking, they're still a little shorter than they should be. You got the, you got your egg pawns and um, I don't know what the bigger ones are called. The egg, um, egg bouncers, I think. And then, of course, my one of my personal favorites, the uh, the egg robos, which are just a smidge taller than the egg pawns. And then just get a feng shui. Oh well, yeah, I mean, I mean, every, like well, I'm just, what I'm trying to get at is that everything could tend to be a little bit bigger. Let's throw in grabber. He has no string, so he's gonna. Let's uh. All right, let's let's move you back there. See, this is this is what I mean. This display stand really should have been made out of a stiffer kind of plastic. Okay, now there's room up here for grabber, 
And why not, let's throw in the massively undersized Iblis Spider, which should be the size of a dire wolf and is instead the size of a lap dog. So, yeah, this guy, like I said, he does a pretty good job blending in with the already existing Badnik figures, including the ones made by Jazzwares. So, and that's, that's perfectly fine and fantastic. And then they all get blown up by my custom Buzz Bomber with his articulated abdomen. Pew, pew, pew. Mwahahaha. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just having fun in front of the camera. In conclusion, the crab bot figure came out very nice. Um, maybe a little bit of paint detailing, like picking out the spines on its back. I don't know if uh, that would make it more screen accurate. But, uh, you know, it actually does have pretty good paint. They, they put these um, gray blades on his legs. His face has eyes with slitted pupils. The claws are yellow. And if you look, they even made them slightly asymmetrical. One set of claws is more open than the other. That's nice. That That's a nice way to show that they're active without having to sculpt more articulation. And then you got like all the joints where the legs meet the belly. That's picked out in a different color to make it look, you know, stand out. So yeah. Um, not a bad paint job they gave this guy. He looks pretty good. Um, maybe if he was done in metallics instead of flat plastic colors, he'd look even better. But they never really do metallics except for special figures, so... I will accept the figure as it is now. So yeah, this guy gets full marks. Very good crab bot figure. I like it. Okay, real quick addendum. Something I didn't notice. The claws are articulated. Look at that. Look at that. You can move them. Yeah. They were a little bit paint stuck coming out of the package, so I didn't really notice. But they can totally pinch. They do that. So it moves at the shoulders and it can pinch its claws. So that makes four points of articulation. Uh, that, that just, no, the egg bouncer still has more articulation, but uh, that definitely puts this one in second place. So good on you, crab meat. And here is this spacesuit Knuckles figure, which looks pretty darn fantastic. Just like spacesuit Sonic, it is a completely original mold. Everything here is new stuff. None of that sports tape wrapped arms and legs, with um, which has just been painted a different color. 100% uh, original. Still has fingers, but we are we're gonna forgive that at this point. Articulation is the same uh, as the spacesuit Sonic. You have pin disc shoulders, allowing for outwards and forwards and backwards movements. Um, his hips are free, um, although they don't go as far back as Sonic's legs go because of the sculpt of his butt. But you know, still pretty good. You can still approximate a space a space walk pose. Um, the hands are sculpted for holding things, although it doesn't come with an accessory. And the helmet, um, because of the sculpt of the helmet, the head doesn't turn exactly like Sonic's. Um, the helmet doesn't have his dreadlocks sculpted in, although I guess um, on this that would have looked particularly silly. Um, like, because uh, on Sonic, you can tell like he has a relatively small head with this thing that goes way farther back, so that makes sense that they would accommodate his spines. Also, you notice that there's a little antenna on top in the same place as the scruffy spine on top of his head. I find that kind of cute. Um, and, you know, all around, it's it's all it's all well sculpted, although there's not much paint on the back except for the straps and belts, which continue around. Although, if it was made by Hasbro or Bandai, they probably would have skipped out on that because you don't see it when it's in the packaging, so I guess I should give them credit for that. And um, it is a really good little figure. Uh, let us compare him real quick to the to the last two pack knuckles, you know the one that came pre-posed in the punch. And as you can see, the spacesuit knuckles is a much more neutral standing figure, um, which makes sense because this is the only version of the figure they have right now. And uh, so you can you can have him standing, you know, like a guy standing. Um, but you know, because of because of the movement in his arms, you can do some stuff. You know, you can at least have him taking a step, you know. 
Uh, yeah, like, I, just, I wish these figures were as articulated as the Jazz Wars ones were, but, you know, like, they stand well, and they have, uh, nice crisp pink jobs, and this, and they're, they're solidly built. So they're good kids' toys, and for collectors like me, they still make nice displays, even if they aren't quite as posable. So, um, this set gets full points. It's a full 10 out of 10 set, unlike the Sonic and, uh, Doppelganger set, which which had a really, really, really lazy and poorly done Eggman. Uh, so that being said, uh, I would recommend this. It should be showing up at retail pretty soon, but I got it at Toy Wiz. And um, if, you want, if you want the Crab Bot, I don't know if there's going to be any other way to get it other than this two-pack. So, you know, like, if you want... You, you, we always want to increase our Badnik rosters, so this is probably a must-get. Um, like, if, if you don't... Unless you really want a spacesuit Sonic, uh, you don't have to get the other set. But this one has crab meat in it, which would be a lot more incentive to get. So that being said, uh, those are my recommendations. This is Wake Angel 2001, signing off.